China uses so-called debt diplomacy to expand its influence. Today, that country is offering hundreds of billions of dollars in infrastructure loans to governments from Asia to Africa to Europe and even Latin America. Yet the terms of those loans are opaque at best, and the benefits invariably flow overwhelmingly to Beijing. Mm. Vice President Mike Pence describing an insidious tactic that he alleges the Chinese are using to squeeze everything they can out of nations that can least afford it. For more, we go to Mark Lauder, Trump 2020 advisory board member and former press secretary for Vice President Mike Pence. Good to see you, Mark. Uh, you. you know, this it's almost like the aliens in Independence Day. They, they, they stop in one place uh, and then squeeze everything they can out of it like locusts and move on to another place. Is that what the vice president's saying? Basically, because and what he did was put the American people on notice. Because too many people just think of our disputes with China as it relates to trade, our manufacturing, cheap products, things like that. But what we have to identify is the level that China is trying to infiltrate, not just our companies, as the previous report was suggested, but influencing our elections. Right. They're taking very malicious activities in the South China Sea, and then what they're doing with other countries, indebting them to China. China will create a strategic block of power and influence that is something that the U.S. will have to be dealing with possibly you know, there, for many decades there to There are a lot of countries that are vulnerable. I used to see this in Latin America all the time, and you look right now in places like basket cases like Nicaragua and Venezuela, for example, that need cash and are willing to sell off anything they have in terms of natural resources, whether it's oil in Venezuela or trees in Nicaragua, and the, the Chinese will take all these things and then move on. They'll give a couple of billion dollars, uh, which is all these, these corrupt nations are looking for, and then they go in and strip them of hundreds of billions of dollars worth of resources. It is a long-term plan by the Chinese, and it's something that now, under President Trump, we finally have a president who is strong enough and committed enough to see this through to push back on this, whether it involves trade, whether it involves other malicious activities. Let's remember, they're challenging our Navy off the coast in the South China Sea in international waters. Right. Too many things are going on. We've got to stand up to the Chinese and stand up for American right. workers, businesses, and interests. Well, Mark, talk about standing up. Today seemed to be a water shed moment for Republicans uh, about this Kavanaugh hearing and, and what's been going on. They, they stood up like I haven't seen them stand up. I, I haven't seen backbone like that among all Republicans in a long time. But standing up for the process, which is tearing down an individual, uh, has nothing to do with the confirmations, qualifications, and confirmation. But standing up for democracy and due process in America, uh, it seems like this is a watershed moment, not only for Republicans, but where Americans are saying we don't want Want this in our system. I think you're absolutely right, David. And as you look to see what's going on right now in the Hart Senate office building where protesters have basically taken over the atrium, I have to think that a lot of Americans out there, even so-called maybe just left of center, we used to call them blue dog Democrats, they have to look and see what's going on and see how the radical protesters and resistance movement has taken over the Democrat Party. What they've done to Judge Kavanaugh is absolutely despicable. We know today now after this investigation exactly the same thing we knew a week ago, which is none of these allegations yeah. have any corroborating uh, evidence. So I have a feeling Judge Kavanaugh will be Justice Kavanaugh by Monday morning. And you know, it's interesting to see all these Democrats who uh, two weeks ago were saying everything the FBI does is golden now say that the FBI investigation is full of it. At any rate, Mark Water, great to see you, my friend. Thank you very much Good for being here. You. Appreciate it.